Hi, I'm Dr. John McCann, and I'm going to talk about eyelid bumps. There are a lot of different kinds of bumps that can grow on the eyelid, and they can be broadly classified into cancerous and non-cancerous lesions. If a bump on your eyelid affects your vision in some way, or if I am suspicious that it's a cancer so that I have to send it to the laboratory to look at under the microscope, this will typically be paid for by insurance. If the only reason the bump is being removed from your eyelid is because you don't like the appearance of it, then that's not something that would be covered by your insurance company. Currently in my practice, when patients come in and want bumps removed from their eyelids for cosmetic purposes, I charge $175 to remove a bump. If there is more than one, additional bumps are charged $100. To perform a bump removal procedure, it's something we do typically in the office the first time I meet a patient. The patient will have the area wiped clean with uh, alcohol and after it's wiped clean, they'll receive an injection of some numbing medicine in the eyelid. Every attempt is made to make the injection as comfortable as possible. I use the smallest syringe and the smallest needle possible. It does sting a little bit to numb up the edge of the eyelid. After the lid is numbed, the bump can simply be excised. A little cautery is used to stop bleeding. Antibiotic is applied to the bump, and in some cases we put a patch over it for a day, in other cases we don't. The patients are instructed to put antibiotic ointment over the area of excision uh, two times daily for two weeks. Typically, the bump will be sent to the pathologist to look at it under a microscope to see if there's any evidence of cancer within the lesion. If there is cancer within the lesion, we would call the patient and tell them that further treatment is required. If on the other hand, uh, the lesion is found to be benign, they would receive a letter from our office within two weeks telling them that it was not a cancer. Most of the time, if something is going to be a skin cancer, I will have already warned the patient. I think that there's a high degree of suspicion that this is a skin cancer, so there's some forewarning. The treatment of skin cancer involves uh, three stages. The first stage is the biopsy, so that's already been done at that point. The second stage is complete removal of the skin cancer, and then you'll be sent to see me in an operating room the following day, and I will repair the defect or the hole that was created by removing the lesion. This is the, the best method for patients because it has an extremely high cure rate, around 98%. In addition to that, it allows the um, skin cancer specialist to remove the minimal amount of normal tissue, creating the smallest hole. And uh, by having your eyelid reconstruction done by a specialist who does a lot of that, it gives you a very, very good chance of having both excellent function, visual function, as well as having a normal appearance.